Hundreds of people flooded the streets of Fiji's capital Suva a Thursday morning in mid-September. Their message was clear. No more youth death to suicide! Death for everyone! No suicide! Now make some noise! The World Suicide Prevention Day aims to raise awareness on suicide and how to prevent it. But that call came two weeks too late for a young Fijian trio. And I'm glad to see that a lot of the children are here. Because uh, recently, over the past few weeks, we've noticed the tragedies that have happened amongst our children when they felt to be in a situation that they couldn't do too much about. Suicide is a tragedy that affects a lot of people in our country. A tragedy that became much too apparent when the three students between the ages of 13 and 14 took their own life by drinking poison in the beginning of September. And unfortunately, these occurrences are becoming far too common in the Fiji community. This is one of the reports that I've noted a sudden increase from the last two years. A suicide or attempted suicide is now reported in Fiji every day and a half. And over the last three years, well over 400 people have taken their own lives. Almost three times the number of road fatalities in the same period. <laughs> Among the school children attending the event, suicide is an issue they know far too much about for their young age. So much so that the first student we approached had actually tried to commit suicide a year earlier. The young girl asked not to be identified, but other students had the same experiences close to them. I have heard people thinking to commit suicide, but uh, while they're thinking of it, it's better to encourage them to stop. And even though the adults understand the problems that young people go through. There's a lot of uh, demand on you, there's a lot of demand on fashion, a lot of demand on peer pressure, there's a lot of demand even out from parents. The issue continues to prevail. Just this year, 10 people under the age of 16 have taken their own lives. Numbers that can shake even a 30-year police veteran. I only hope, and I, uh, sorry to say this, this is uh, a reality in, in our career life. And to me as a father, it is very hurtful. Sorry, I'm a little bit emotional when I talk about suicide. Because I actually see the bodies of children. Please, I beg you this morning. There are other avenues, there are other opportunities that you can share your problems. Rather than taking it out of yourself. And maybe one of these other avenues can turn out to be the solution that the Fijian community has been looking for. Bula, Child Helpline, how may I help you? Here at the headquarters of the National Child Helpline, they get heaps of calls from troubled children mm. every day. Uh, in a day, we get about more than 30 to 40 calls. Yeah, you take your time. You take your time. When you are ready, I'll be here. The most of these kids, they are very vulnerable. Uh, they call about issues about uh, their uh, education, uh, neglect, uh, how they have been neglected by parents and caregivers and as well as uh, some forms of abuse, physical abuse. The phone has been ringing almost 5,000 times in the first half year of the helpline's existence. And even though some of the calls to the counselors are silent or pranks, the service has proved a success. Uh, I believe this is a good tool because uh, this allows children, this gives children a platform where they can voice uh, whatever is bothering them. So. Yes, that is pretty successful. The minister herself visited the families of the three students who took their own lives. She hopes that informing other children about the helpline can prevent more suicides. So that we do not have any more numbers adding to it. I mean, for us, one child matters. You know? For us, one child matters. So we will create more awareness about our child helpline if they need any help. Do you think that uh, there are some suicidal ideation going on? and the helpline is able to prevent some children from committing suicide according to themselves. Uh, children call in when uh, they are unable to cope with whatever situation that they are going through and most of the time they talk about uh, uh, a suicidal ideation that uh, are coming at times. And uh, with the intervention uh, that we provide from the child helpline, we are able to, to save lives uh, through counselling. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.
So the message to the children at the World Suicide Prevention Day was clear. Uh, if you need help and there's no one around you, call up and they have professional people who are there to help you. And on top of that, the Ministry of Education has even told all school children to take an anti-suicide pledge before the end of September, according to Radio New Zealand. But some children already got the message at the end of the Suicide Prevention Day. It's, it's bad to commit suicide because conflict is part of our life. Conflict is part of our life. So if, some, if there's a problem in schoolwork, you should come and tell it to your parents. Have to, have to ask for ideas for them how to solve their, their problems because there's no other place like home. Thank you very much for coming.